Hello everyone. Welcome back to the channel of the cookies and the cream. And today I'm back with yet another money video. I recently made a two videos actually on money. The first one being the two dollar bill and the second one being the twenty dollar bill. If you guys haven't seen those, make sure you do. I put the two links in the description below. So go check it out. But if you guys have already seen those, then you can stay for this one. Now this time, this is a $10 bill. Yep. Now unlike the other videos, I'm going to try and keep this short and sweet. So let's get down to the nitty gritty. Let me show you the back. Oh wait, I forgot to tell you guys. This is from the series 1950. $10 bill. 1950. Now let me show you the back this time. This is the US Treasury. You see it? And I don't know if you noticed, but it's a little vehicle right here. You see the little vehicle? Looks pretty nice. And this is Alexander Hamilton. He was never a president. Instead, he was the first secretary of the treasury. And most people don't know this, but Alexander Hamilton, he was also the face of the $1,000 bill, $1,000 bill, a long time ago. Until someone noticed that it would have been kind of confusing for his face to be on multiple denominations. So they decided to replace his face on the $1,000 bill with the face of Grover Cleveland, the 22nd and the 24th president of the United States. And here's a fun fact about Grover Cleveland. He was the only president in the history of the United States to serve two non-consecutive terms. So that's pretty cool. And oh yeah, by the way, the $1,000 bill was discontinued back in 1969. And let me show you guys something. Check this out. This is a $10 bill from the series 1977. Let's see if we can spot some differences. Here's one. On the series 1950, it says, will pay to the bearer on demand, which on the 1977, it just says $10. Let's look at the back. That's the U.S. Treasury. That's the little car, vehicle. So nothing changes there. Oh, in God we trust. Okay, so in my last video, I mentioned that the model in God we trust hasn't been added until the year 1956 or 1957. And here, let's check here. Let's check the back of this. See? No in God we trust. And that's because this is from series 1950. So it's before 1956. So it doesn't have that model in God we trust. That's pretty cool. Check it out. Okay. Now let me show you the modern $10 bill. This is the modern. Oh, notice how in the modern $10 bill, they removed the vehicle. You see it? Yep, they removed the vehicle. What else did they remove? Um... They also removed these people walking by. You see? Oh, there's actually multiple vehicles on this. Wow, check it out. Amazing. So fascinating. Oh, one, one more thing. I don't know if you guys noticed this about $10 bills. I mean $10 bills in general, but it's the only bill 
that has the face, the face facing the left, the left instead of the right. What I mean is like, um, for example, on the one dollar bill, George Washington's face is facing the right. On the hundred dollar bill, you'll also see that Benjamin Franklin's face is also facing the right. And so on, so on. The five dollar bill, Lincoln is facing the right. But on this, the ten, Hamilton is facing the left. So that's pretty fascinating. Well, guys, yeah, that's it for today. I said I was going to keep it short and sweet. I think I took a little longer than expected. I'm sorry about that, but thanks for watching anyways. And stay tuned for some more money videos.